How can an officer screw up my immigration case? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. In today's video, we're talking about applications that involve an interview or involve some kind of discretion on the part of the officer. Do we think that most immigration officers are out to screw the people that are being interviewed? No, not necessarily. But there are enough of those kinds of officers that you need to be worried about this. This is why you need to file as an airtight a case as possible. You don't want to give them any kind of wiggle room. And remember the one thing that I always say about uh, part of our role as immigration lawyers is to go through the case with a fine tooth comb, to look at it objectively without emotion, and to try to find all the ways for an officer to say no or to slow down your case. And we go through there little by little picking out all the ways for them to say no. Well, if you don't do that and you hand deliver an immigration officer ways to turn down your case, that is really setting yourself up for failure. So what are we talking about? We're talking about situations where an immigration officer can um, use their discretion to deny your application. They can say, well, there's something about this case that I don't like, and we're gonna come up with a reason to deny your green card or to deny your citizenship. And the way that the officers do that is they try to make you look out to be a liar. That's the first main way that an immigration officer can screw up your case. They can try to argue that you have lied to them. And of course, we tell our clients that the interview is not a memory test. You don't have to know every single fact, but you definitely don't want to mislead the officer or make a misrepresentation or say anything that could be construed as a misrepresentation. The greatest trick they use to keep you from getting your uh, case approved and from making you out to be a liar is by comparing what you say in this interview to the application itself, or more recently we're seeing more and more cases where they go back to prior applications and say, well, in this current application you're saying A, but back in this prior application we're saying B. So what's the deal? Why'd you lie to us? Were you lying to us then or were you lying to us now? It's sort of like that old uh, lawyer trick of um, have you stopped beating your wife or when did you stop beating your wife? You know, it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's the same kind of thing where they try to make you out to be a liar. So that's one thing. Another reason that they will try to turn you down and deny your case is to say that you omitted information, that you weren't forthcoming with information. Or they think that the evidence that you've submitted is not sufficient. And a lot of times, you know what? They're right. So another way that an immigration officer can screw up your case is by arbitrarily declaring that you haven't submitted enough evidence. And that is a subjective thing, right? So what is the evidence of the marriage, whether it's valid, what's the evidence of good moral character? and they can say that you have not provided enough of the information and you've not provided enough documents or you haven't complied with a request for evidence or a notice of intent to deny. That's another thing that they'll do is they'll say, well, you need to give us more of this or more of that. And then when you don't give them enough of this or enough of that, they turn you down. So the last main way that they can do it is to really try to trick you up in your interview to try to confuse you, to try to befuddle you, to try to say things in a way that you are intimidated and you sort of back down. We see this a lot in the marriage-based context where they'll try to threaten people and say that people are going to jail for marriage fraud and you'll just have these officers that are really overbearing and wanna do what they can to try to just simply scare you into either abandoning the case or in saying something stupid that it gives them a basis for denial. After having read num numerous denials, you need to understand that they can deny you for lots of different reasons and that it's only with experience and seeing these denials day in and day out from people who are looking for our help that we are able to identify the issues and to help you file the strongest case possible. And really that's what we're talking about. We're trying to combat that, that one officer out of 20 or that one officer out of 30 who goes uh, around during the day trying to deny as many cases as possible. That's what we're um, preparing our cases for, that officer. We just assume the worst assume we're going to get that officer and we plan accordingly. If you have questions about this or if you're thinking about filing for an immigration benefit, feel free to give us a call 314-961-8200. You can email us info at hackinglawpractice.com. Be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. If you like this video, we ask that you please share it out on social, that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that you uh, join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Most Tuesdays and Thursdays you'll find us live in our Immigrant Home Facebook group and on our YouTube channel answering as many of your immigration law related questions as possible. Thanks a lot and have a great day.